guys, Dave here, Twin Home Experts. Want to go ahead and show you how to replace an old tub drain. So some of the things that you're going to need in order to remove and replace that old tub drain is uh, some, some good tools and that's going to be, my favorite is going to be this little guy right here. It's actually a tub drain remover. It actually gives you a couple of options but it allows you to slide this down into the drain and it grips and it allows you to remove it. Now, um, if you don't have this specialty tool, one of the things to consider is you can use either a common household tool, which is your needle nose, a pair of channel locks, and a screwdriver. And I'll go ahead and show you how to use that application to remove the drain. So let's come a little closer and let's get a better visual of it. As you can see, here's our tub drain right here. You're gonna take your needle nose, you're just gonna drop them down like this, then grab your channel locks, and what you're gonna do is counterclockwise, you're gonna turn the needle nose pliers until it gets loose. So now once it gets loose, you can just do it by hand by sliding that out like this, and it probably takes about seven to eight turns, and then you're able to successfully remove. So now that we've gone over what tools is going to be required to remove the drain, one thing to consider, and I've got a pet peeve with this, is make sure you offer protection over your tub. As you can see, a lot of these other uh, videos show that the tools go right on the tub. If you've got a pressed steel tub, those tubs are very easy to crack or scratch. So add some extra protection so if you do drop a tool, your tub is going to be protected. All right, so now the next step is once you remove the drain, now you're ready to install. Now, something to consider if you want a permanent solution is this. In this application, I love using ABS pipe and fittings. And the reason why is because they're not gonna deteriorate. It's uh, much easier to snake and maintain. And once it's glued, you're not ever going to have a leak. Now, if you decide to go with this application, which is the old brass fittings <clears throat> uh, style, um, again, nice. It's gonna come in a more decorative option versus an ABS. But these types of uh, waste and overflows, there's a lot of like rubber washers and nuts. You've gotta be, um, it's just a lot more challenging to install, especially if it's up in the ceiling this is a lot more vulnerable to leakage, especially if you're not a certified plumber to install this. So uh, might wanna consider just going with a ABS waste and overflow. Uh, it's gonna last you a lot longer. All right, so let's go ahead now and let's get underneath the house and let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. We're gonna go ahead and connect to this drain right here. Come in, put a P-trap and connect to the tub. So let's go ahead and get started. Just wanted to go ahead and show you the before. All right, folks, so we're gonna go ahead now and see, as you can see, we're putting our drain first, just uh, <clears throat> uh, as the first step, just so we can line everything up and measure everything precisely. So this is in place now. So now we can uh, take our overflow and, and measure the distance which is going to be this this thing right here this is our overflow this is going to go up this does require uh, two people to to install all right so the person inside the tub and the person down below we're uh, working together here he's going to hold the the overflow from inside the tub so we can get a proper measurement from here to the overflow yeah all right folks so as you can see we've secured the lower part of the drain and now that's the upper part which is the overflow you can see actually the screw uh, right going right through it here at the top so now that we've got the upper and the lower drain secured now we're ready to put what we call in the santee 
which is uh, here. this fitting right here. This is the next one. Now you gotta be mindful, it has to go a certain way. You see the neck on this has to go like this, uh, which is uh, the flow of the drain. I've seen it sometimes where they get installed backwards, which is up. You want it to go down uh, like that. So now we're gonna set this in place and start measuring uh, the piping that goes between both of these here, okay? So let's go ahead and show you what that step looks like. All right, so as you can see, we're, we're gonna uh, just take a piece of uh, inch and a half pipe and uh, we didn't glue anything yet, we just uh, dried it in, but just enough to get us this measurement right here. And you take a tape measure and line it up the best you can with your eyes. Uh, in this case, the measurement's about... Um, three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. So let's cut a piece of three and a quarter inch, inch and a half ABS pipe. One of the things you want to do too is deburr after you cut the pipe because if not, when you go to glue, it's sometimes hard to get a good seal. So just take an extra effort and clean the ends of the pipe after you make a cut. All right, so now we're ready to go ahead and prefab the second pipe that we need to cut and that's going to be the uh, riser for the overflow. So again, we're going to dry it, uh, connect it right now before we glue just to get our critical measurements. So now that's, now that's in place and accurate. Now we can measure from the overflow down to the top of our Santee and this cut's going to be 12 inches and a quarter. 12 and a quarter inches, so let's get that. All right, so now let's uh, remove all the precise cut pieces. And now we're ready to go ahead and glue everything together using the proper glue, which is gonna be ABS glue. First thing we're gonna do is um, glue our 12 inch piece into the overflow. Just like that. And what you wanna do guys is uh, when you glue it, give it a twist. Uh, once you glue it all the way in, twist it about a quarter of a turn and that gets a uh, a much better seal, it takes all the air pockets out. Uh, just uh, again, less likely that uh, you're ever gonna have a leak there. All right, now the second phase to this is going to be the uh, small piece here that's gonna connect to the drain. Insert that and then give it a little twist as well. All right, now, now we're ready to glue the uh, Santee in. And again, you just want to be uh, just glue the uh, the top two pieces for right now and then some glue around the pipe as you can see we went ahead and glued the santee on the overflow first and then applied it to the uh, connected it to the drain here. So as you can see, that's all in place. We do like wiping our fittings, just so we don't have glue everywhere. 
Uh, this is going to get city inspected. The inspectors do appreciate a nice, clean connection versus blue everywhere. All right, folks. Well, that's what it looks like when it's complete. Now we're going to go ahead and install a very important part of this is going to be the P-trap. And the P-trap is a fitting that prevents sewer gases, sewer odors from uh, coming up into your into your home. So a P-trap is super, super important to be installed as part of this whole equation. Uh, sometimes you don't have to replace the P-trap when you do a tub drain replacement, but in this particular situation, there is no P-trap, so we're gonna go ahead and install one right now. So this is the P-trap here. So we're gonna go ahead and put these two pieces together, line it up with our pipe so we can get a precise measurement. All right, so here we are. We're gonna go ahead now and uh, install the P-trap. We installed what we call the dirty arm. And now we're ready to uh, put the uh, trap 90 on first. A lot of this, you just have to have a good eye and make sure that everything is uh, straight and lined up. And it's typically with ABS, you've got a little bit of flexibility. So if you're off a eighth of an inch or even a quarter, you're gonna be fine. All right, so now we're ready to put the most important piece, which again, stops the sewer gases from coming up into your home. Uh, as you notice, we've glued both ends of one of the fitting and the pipe along with the P-trap, and that allows you to just now at the same time connect both pieces. All right, folks, well, there you have it. A completed tub drain assembly using ABS pipe in a crawl space. Let's go up above and get the finished product and uh, share a few tips there. One little tip, guys, and you don't have to do it, but we like uh, doing it here at the Twin Home Experts, is we do apply a little bit of pipe dope. And the reason why we do that is because it, it, it lubricates the threads in a way and also offers a little bit more seal, especially when you're uh, screwing into plastic, okay? So we're gonna drop the drain down into that. Now you have to have a, a sense of if the threads are grabbing onto plastic threads. So you, you gotta be very, very careful. So you wanna hand tighten it first to make sure they grab, then use your tools to go ahead and tighten it down, just like this. And again, because you're going metal and screwing into plastic, you do not wanna over tighten because you'll end up stripping the, the threads. If you have enough putty and again, a little added, uh, pipe dope on the threads you're going to have a nice tight seal and as you start to tighten down you, you'll start to feel the tension between the drain and the actual tub and then you peel the excess uh, uh, pipe dope so it's going to look something like this all right now let's go to the overflow now all right folks so now we're uh, ready to um, install the overflow plate. And uh, what you do is get yourself a screwdriver. This can be a little tricky if you want to line up the screws with the center of the threads inside the overflow. Once you catch the threads, you'll line it up a bit. Now you want to make sure, I see this a lot, I don't get it. A lot of times this gap, it'll be facing up. You don't want that to be facing up. You want it to be facing down. So as the water travels, it's coming down into the tub. So that gap is here for the overflow, meaning the tub ever overflowed, the water's gonna come into here, 
and drain inside the drain. And then this just needs to get snug because behind the tub, you've got a nice thick washer. And that's about it. One little secret that I like to offer is that one little tip that I like to offer is um, I like having the screw in a vertical versus a horizontal. And that's what it looks like. And the reason why, again, is that the water is going to travel through that versus settling and rusting out. So just a little tip in the 25 years that I've been doing this, uh, that's something that uh, I like to offer you as a tip there. All right, folks, well, there is a complete drain there. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the toe kick. That simply is just uh, the threads and uh, the washer. We just go ahead, screw it down. This doesn't have to be super tight, just hand tight, just like that. And there it is. It's called the toe kick. Well, folks, there you have it. How to install a tub drain. Now you're probably wondering, well, what does a tub drain installation cost? Well, depending on your plumber, and if you're using a handyman or a licensed plumber, I've seen it range anywhere from about 250 all the way to $1,200. Again, depends on accessibility, depends on how much pipe you have to cut out, um, depends on what type of drain system you want, but I would factor in anywhere from as low as 250 and as high as 1200. Well, folks, hopefully this helped. As always, thanks for watching. And if you like it, give us thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button.